Hi YouTube, today we're going to set up a simple CI CD continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline on Circle CI. Uh, so the very first thing we want to do is set up an account on Circle CI if you do not have one already. So we'll go to circleci.com, click go to app over here on the right hand side and log in via GitHub or Bitbucket. This should automatically create you an account. You'll get redirected to your dashboard which will list uh, all their pipeline runs as have been happening. So to set up, an, a per, set up a repo to be connected to CircleCI so you can have all the automated processes run when commits are pushed to the repo. We'll go over here to projects and it should list all the repos that are connected to the account that you logged in with. And for whichever repo you want to connect to CircleCI, you can just go over here and click the blue setup project button. It'll create sample configuration file. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that you select the proper language for your project. Uh, we'll use Node in this case. Once you select a language, the uh, sample configuration is pretty simple and it pretty much only tries to run unit tests based on some of the standard ways that each language might try to run unit tests. If that's not how your project is set up, this sample configuration will most likely fail whenever you try to run it so it says it's not going to actually call the right commands to run your unit test but just in order to be able to see that it runs uh, you can go ahead over here and just click the blue commit and run button and this should redirect you over here to the pipeline runs for the project that you just configured and you should see a pipeline run for your specific project the next thing we'll do is just set up a simple configuration file to where it just spits out the words hello world in one of the stages in the pipeline run. To do that, we will go to our configuration file on GitHub, edit the file, we'll post in this simple configuration file. This simple configuration file just pulls in a Docker image, checks out the code, tries to restore a cache of our dependencies, and then just installs all of our current dependencies, writes out hello world, and then saves our dependencies into a cache. Commit those changes. We'll go back over here to Circle CI. We see a new pipeline run running. We see that it spun up the environment, prepared environment variables, checked out our code, installed the NPM packages, and then we printed out hello world. Next thing we'll wanna do is set up a little bit more complex configuration file that will allow us to automatically sync our files in our project to an Amazon S3 bucket. Uh, the first thing we'll want to do is create a set of IAM credentials in AWS. If you don't have one of those already, you'll want to go to the AWS management console, type in IAM, go to IAM, go over here to users. And you can create a user specifically for your CI CD pipelines, which I have done. You see circle CI. You'll want to go over here to security credentials tab and then create access key that will create you a set of user id and secret keys that you can use for here in circle ci once you have those credentials you go over here to circle ci and click on organization settings which should bring you up to the context uh, settings page so go ahead and click the blue create context button that will create a new context for you after it's created click on it we will add our AWS access key by clicking add environment variables, add that environment variable name, and then the value that you just got from your IAM credentials. Do the same for AWS secret access key, as well as AWS default region. And pick a region that you would like to automatically deploy to as a default. I will add a link to the all the different regions that AWS provides in the description below. After you do that, we'll want to create just a little bit more complex configuration file that will add the steps needed to set up the AWS CLI and the command to actually sync our files up to Amazon S3 bucket. To do that, we will go over here back to our CircleCI config in GitHub, edit it, and we pasted a little bit bigger configuration file, which includes this executor line, this AWS CLI slash setup line, and this set up for a context that we want to reference the context that we just had that we set up our AWS credentials in. Go ahead and commit those changes. You see that this is my Amazon S3 bucket. It does not have any objects in it right now. And after this pipeline run, we should have some files in our S3 bucket. 
It is next our files up to S3. If we go to S3 now and refresh, we see that we have our files from our project in our S3 bucket. If you like this video, you thought it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.